the Niners wave just in school. Justin, we hardly knew you. This guy this is a one of the two offensive tackles they've drafted, and they've put three years into developing him. They he got his knee messed up in June, and now he's gone. And now he's gone. It was nice to know you. What should we remember about Justin School? And what happened? How was he uh, gone? I think they should remember. Right, didn't similar situation happen last year? DJ Reed was waived with an injury, and uh, right. starting. Starting a corner at C in Seattle. Um, I think it, it seems like remember the first year when school was a rookie, he came in yeah. and then and he and he had some good games, like he he had some solid games. And then last year, they I think they tried to make guard a little bit and he didn't look so good. And I think he even subbed in it a couple of times and it just yeah. it didn't look like he didn't look like he had it. Um, I personally don't think it. In the grand scheme of things, it, it really matters too much. Um, they drafted another uh, guard tackle this year. They um, Sean Coleman is back. Um, so Kibitz. yeah, <laughs> Cole, Cole McKibbitt. Cole McKibbitz. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't think it's like huge news. Alfredo Gutierrez. Yeah, actually, he's an intriguing. Like, I'm curious to see in in camp how he holds up, right? Because. Uh, I've tried to find film on on him. Like, I does it exist? I don't know. He's he's a guy that played in in Mexico. Um, so you Hard know, find. different level of competition, different level of competition, even from college here. So you could you could get anything from him through like wow, hidden gem, or that he's um, he can't play on this level. Um, oh. But can you can you explain to me though how this escalates so quickly from a guy gets hurt and it's like forget IR dude just go away we're done with you does he request it on his own like I don't want to be here anymore I think I think it, it probably has to do with it probably has to do with um and I don't know specifically uh it probably has to do with something with the roster something with what the Niners probably get something by releasing it. it yeah. Right. And if he clears waivers, they could bring him back. They can bring him back, and he doesn't yeah. count. He probably doesn't count versus like a um, a roster like exemption or something like that. They right. want an extra roster spot. He doesn't count if they if he's on injured if he's on injured reserve. Then I think he counts. He still counts on the roster spot. Um, it probably has something to do with that. Yeah, um, it's the same reason why they why they tried to get cute with DJ Reed last year and it burned him. Yeah, because he didn't have a torn ACL or anything like that. What did he have? Right. Uh, yeah. I don't remember exactly. I don't what remember it was. either. He, yeah. But it wasn't it was a huge right because he came back mid um in the true year he played a really good year last year for Seattle. But in terms of with Justin School, what we need to know is he could come back. He's had he good waivers, and it's not like he's shown much the last couple of years that will make a team be like, ooh. Yeah, I mean Justin School coming off a twenty ACL. Let me get that. I gotta go to school. I love that little bus. man. I love that uh, the school and the person puns. Like I could couldn't get enough of. Mike Person, Justin School. Take him to school, person of interest. And now they're both gone. Oh, well. There's not as many Tomlinson puns and McGlinchey or, puns. Although or, people have gotten pretty clever with the McGlinchey name, I got to say. You could, hey, you could kill it with the Tom Compton puns, right? <laughs> you could. You could. <laughs>